All right, um, before we wrap up, I wanted to ask you about something that came up uh, last night. BuzzFeed News reported um, a video from a Patrick Kolbeck event. I believe he was talking to, it says, United West um, earlier this month. And he brought up um, some kind of anti-Muslim rhetoric um, and pinned it in a way to uh, Abdul El Said and was alleging that his family is connected to the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, he brought up a couple issues about, um, you know, civilization, jihad, and uh, Sharia law um, in Michigan. And I wanted to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Um, you know, where is this coming from in a lot of ways? And do you think that as we go forward, this is going to keep coming up? And um, do voters care about this stuff? Well, so there's clearly a constituency for this type of rhetoric, although I would say it wouldn't have sounded all that out of place at Richard Spencer's event um, at Michigan State last month. But um, yeah, there's certainly a constituency for this type of rhetoric um, uh, that I would put down as sort of soft white nationalism. Um, Anytime, really, that you see a uh, Muslim candidate for any sort of high office, you're going to hear this sort of thing. Uh, these sort of fever swamp conspiracy theories about how you know this person is a, um, is a terrorist or is tied to terrorism. Um, I think it's really unfortunate, but I don't expect it to go away. There is a constituency for that, um, particularly when you think about what the primary electorate looks like in legislative seats. Um, even for governor, um, it, does that have broad appeal to Republicans? No, I don't believe it does. I, I happen to enjoy most of the Republicans that I know and don't find them to be white nationalists. But um, there's certainly a, a constituency, a very vocal one, for that type of rhetoric, and Senator Colbeck seems to have latched onto that and think that it's going to do him some good in the primary. I don't agree, but um, I guess we'll see. Okay. It's hard to take anyone like that seriously at that point just because you're that desperate and you're clinging on to some wacko conspiracy theory that no one in their right mind buys. Yeah, there's that whole sort of like tinfoil hat crowd that thought, you know, Obama was born in Kenya, but that didn't re but I think most people saw that was just, you know, bunk. So that you have like a guy who's running near the bottom of the Republican field, you know, desperate for attention and doing anything. So yeah. it's really no point to bring up someone who is most certainly not going to get the Democratic nomination for governor. It's just, a, you know, a very sad and desperate reach for Patrick Colbeck, you know, just trying to, you know, play like sort of all sorts of people's fear that thinking that this is not an issue is any sort of issue, but I think people are, are a lot smarter. And again, the only people that are going to buy it were the people that were going to vote for him anyways. Yeah.